Yo, what is up guys? It's Ice Grenade here and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom round sounds. And these round sounds are going to be going in between rounds and you can set a variety of different things. One is there is an initial start sound that plays, which you just heard then. There's one for game over, there's one for round end, there's one for dog round start and there's that that's the end round one and then we got variation of the start round so i think there's four different variations and then there's mid round so later on i believe in like uh, five rounds plus you'll start hearing slightly different round sounds i'm going to show you how you can make your own sounds as round sounds and we will walk right into this and i'm just going to show you what i got on this other map and yeah So yeah, that little jingle there was another round sound that I got going, and this is the Rainbow Revenge, the crazy little challenge map that I put together. And yeah, this map is just a, to laugh really, it's for pro players to see if they can beat it. And you can hear the round change music there, and then it will be round start music again when they start spawning. Yeah, let's get right into this and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to be doing to get this in your map. Whoa, Jesus, man. This, <laughs> this map is hard and especially when you want to kill them all with your Makarov in the start room. Ah! I don't want to use that nuke yet. There we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go on the interweb or the internet, whatever you want to call it, and find some music. So the first thing I'm going to do is why not let's go to YouTube and then I'm going to go to no copyright sounds. Uh, if you don't want to get in trouble, the best thing to do is use songs that are not copyright because these are not copyright. I've already downloaded one of these, let's just... So you can download whatever music you like, but just, yeah, make sure it's not copyright so you don't get into trouble. Uh, let's go to my no copyright music, I'm gonna go to the no copyright sounds, and we're gonna pick one of these. Let's pick Wario Mortals, I guess. So let's open this up with Audacity, and you can find a link down below to install Audacity, which is a free music editing software. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to grab 12 sounds from here. I'll show you why in just two seconds. If we go to sound assets, and see I've got these round folders here. Well, if we go to the first one here, round, and you can see here all the different round sounds we have. They're the ones that you're gonna to wanna to be putting into your map. So if we go to, for example, start one, and we play this, so let's just listen to this and see what it sounds like. And you can see that is the music that we had for the original ones. I would suggest that you have that. Generally, you have these all for just a few seconds. And then the one that you have a bit longer is the end one, because that's the end game and you want that to last a bit longer. Okay, so we got this music and we just want to scroll in. So I'm holding control to scroll in there. And then you want to grab various beats from it. So, so we just want to copy from there and then That's where the beat ends there on the first, like, octave. So if, if we just play that. So that sounds good for a round start, for example. So what I'm going to do is make a new folder, and this is going to be round four. And I just think, yeah, that would be good for a start. And you can do whatever you like, really. Just one thing you want to make sure is I've already made a problem, an error here. So if we cancel out of that, you want to hit the project rate up to 48,000. And that is important. If you don't, it will not work. So now we're going to do start.wav. And uh, we also want to put it in the new folder that we created here. The place where you're going to want to store these sounds is going to be on your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 root. And then go to sound assets. I've called it round four uh, you can call it whatever you like as long as you reference it the same in your sound alias okay so i'm going to save that there and uh that's okay okay and the next thing you want to do is grab the next octave so i'm guessing it's going to be somewhere around there for the next one no so you want it from there to i forgot where it was i think it's there 
there. So we got that little jingle there and you can literally take cut whatever part you want and I'm going to put that at start two. Okay. And then we want to just grab the next part. I think that will probably be good as a mid. So let's do mid one. Okay. And then... Okay, so save that as start three, perhaps. If you go down into the description, you'll see the list of the aliases you need, and they will be the different sounds that you're gonna need to create. And they're also here in the round. You need all these ones here. So you need one for dog start, one for dog end. You need one for the game to end. You need four for the middle, so mid rounds. And then you need one for when the round ends, and you need four for the start. So let's roll over this way a bit. I'm gonna get two of the first main beats there. Okay, so that little snippet there, I think we can do as a round over, maybe. You can call it whatever you like, round over, round end, as long as you reference it the same in the sound alias. So we're gonna do that round over. Okay, and then we're gonna move this across, select, and I think, let's just see what that sounds like. Okay, so we don't want it that long. Let's just hear what this sounds like. Okay, well, let's just do that as the mid two. Okay, and then go ahead. So we can do this. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. So you can spend a lot more time in this section making it sound really cool. Okay. You kind of want to make it tidy, have things that sound like they are, you know, I don't know what they're called, bars or something in music. Yeah. Okay. Right, so let's do start uh, four. So I think that'd be good for the round, uh, the game end music right there. Just play this. What you can do though, is I'm gonna go on effects and just do fade out. And that's gonna fade out. And that just sounds better when you're playing the game because when you do a game restart and the music still plays over it sort of fades into the next one so that's pretty cool we're gonna do that as game over we also need a dog start and a dog end what i like to do is i like to switch it up and uh actually just put it in reverse because it you know then you know it's a dog round for sure Okay, so that sounds pretty crazy, <laughs> but not in a good way. Spend a bit more time, make it sound even better. We've got the dog dart there, and then we're gonna want the same for the dog end. So let's do this one, reverse and... Okay, so there we go, we've got that, and then we're gonna do dog end and enter so we're gonna save that and now we're gonna just check that we have 12 sounds go to round four how many sounds have we got 12 items selected that is perfect next step so we have our sounds and now we just want to well we want to put them in the game so there's one thing you need to do let's go to the call of duty black ops 3 root and go to share raw sound aliases and then you're going to want to go to user aliases csv open this up you might not have hardly anything in here you might only have test sound here or you might have some things here already but whatever you have go to somewhere on the last comma and make sure that it's not on a new line so if we go somewhere around here here like this one here you'll see the commas here that you know this isn't the last comma on the line here it's that one there so go to the last comma of anywhere basically so let's just say that you've only got the test sound there which is fine and you'll put enter so we've got a new line here and you're going to want to put in the round music you're going to want to copy and paste this which you'll get down there in a link well, you'll find a file download and it will just contain this text file so you want to copy and paste it here into your sound alias then here is the important part. If you go into each line, you'll see that it says round three start, round three start. You just want to change this to the folder name that you have. So in my case, I'm using round four and I've actually kept the sounds the same, the names of them, well, almost the same. So I just need to change a couple of things. 
So if we go back to that folder and we'll go back to the sounds that we had, which are here. So we've got dog end and dog start. So we just want to make sure that here the dog start is set to dog start, what it shit is. And the dog end is set to dog end, which it is. We want game over as game over. So game over is currently as end. So I'm going to change that to game over. So just make sure the file name dot wav correlates to the wav file name that you have in your call of duty root in the sound assets and then the round four folder or whatever you've called it and then we're going to go to round over let's see i've changed that to round over um and then we have all these different things here i'm just going to change that to mid three so that we're using these there we go we've got all the sounds here just make sure you save it and when you next compile, uh, let's compile this daemon test here and we'll do compile and link and build. So you're going to want to compile so that it brings in the new music sound files and converts them into the right format in game. And you're going to want to link so that it links the sound ingots in. And that's why. Usually if you're just messing around with the script files themselves, then you only need to link. But because we're actually including in media, we're going to need to compile it. So it says no file specific for dog start. So I've cocked it up somewhere. Let's go and check out where I've messed that out. Dog start. Let's go and see what I had here. Dog start. So I wrote dogs start and it should be dog start. So let's save that. And you'll see that's the error it gave me there. No file or file spec for round four dog start, which just means that, hey, you've told us that you've got a dog file, but where is it? You can't find it. So if you look at the errors, the, the, so, some of the times they can be pretty descriptive, some other times they can be very vague, but generally you'll, you'll learn to know what those errors mean and they'll help you fix it quickly. So let's just wait for this to compile and I will show you what it's like in game. So there you go, you heard it start the round and this is the custom sounds we got going. So let's speed things up so you guys can hear more of the sounds. There you go, so there's the round end. These are the demons that I got. You want to spend more time making those sounds sound better or smoother and more in rhythm. You can see that I didn't put any time into it, so. That's why it didn't sound very good. Let's get to that dog round and see what that, see, there you go. There's the variation coming in now. There you go. Let's get another one going. Still around here. I haven't fixed the dogs on this particular game here but if you watch my tutorial on how to fix dogs you can learn how to do that it's very simple i just need to drag in a dog prefab jeez man look at these guys these dogs man oh there you go there's dogs now so that's what that sound was there. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. And I hope this brings you some awesome sounds to your map. If you have any questions, just chuck them down below in the description. And remember to grab the file down there as well. Yeah, thumbs up if this has helped you out. Subscribe, stay tuned for more. Take it easy. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.